again, this is Miss Ella from Becquerel National High School. And for this video, we're going to talk about pronouns. But instead of having a very long duration of video lessons, I just decided to break down the topics into a series of videos so that it's easier for you, special device students, to find the topic you're looking for. Before we start our discussion, I just want to emphasize that if you really want to learn, if you are a student, you have to pay attention, you have to listen carefully because listening is vital in the language classroom because it provides input for the learner. Without understanding input at the right level, any learning simply cannot begin. So, let's start our discussion. Okay, again, I am using the screencast o -Matic to record this video and it is both actually your slide deck, your presentation, and your webcam. And if you are a teacher and if you want to learn more about how to use the screencast o -Matic, you can browse my other educational videos and tutorials. It's very helpful, especially in this time of pandemic, especially if you're going to have an online class. And of course, our presentation is made by yours truly, Ma'am Ella. We will going, uh, we will going to talk about parts of speech for our lesson two, and this will be the introduction for the pronoun, which is part one. Okay, so to get started, okay. So, in our previous lesson, we uh, you have learned that nouns include people places and things we read and speak and write about and you have um, also learned that proper nouns give your reader a more uh, specific uh, image when you speak or write so using a pronoun or a proper noun specifically means instead of using here boy or girl we can say Daniel or Emily and instead of using park or building we can say Rizal Park or Empire State Building and instead of using cap or car we can say Stripe or and Ferrari so nouns and proper nouns uh, are important because they create uh, an image or they form the images in our head when we read speak listen or write so if you are a student you need to ask these are the questions you need to ask yourself so what are pronouns number two why are they important and of course most especially how can understanding and using pronouns help me to become a better writer so let's get started so let us first define what is a pronoun if you are going to browse your dictionary it will give you this definition that a pronoun is any of a small set of words in a language that are used as substitutes okay remember the word substitute substitutes for nouns or noun phrases and whose reference are named or understood in the context Another one, the prefix pro means for. So, to make it simple, pronouns stand for nouns. They are the alternatives for a noun or nouns. Chances are you use pronouns every day when you are speaking or listening. You just don't realize you are using them. So, I'll give you some example sentence like... I want to eat pasta. You are so humble. We are going to Brazil. They are my friends. We need to ask her about it. You can do it. So the pronoun or the word I, you, we, they, her, and it are just example words for a pronoun. So, to give you an example sentence, let's have this example paragraph. Let's read it. Emily is a student 
Emily needs to study in order to get the job that Emily wants. Emily is determined to finish the degree. Emily is passionate in what Emily wants to become. So this paragraph does the good job telling about Emily. But do you do you hear something that doesn't sound quite right? So in this paragraph, we use the name Emily how many times? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, six times. There must be uh, there must be a better way on how to write without overusing the same noun or proper noun as your subject. So here comes the pronoun she, okay, to save the day. Since Emily is a girl, we can uh, use she to replace Emily in some of the places here in our paragraph. So, Emily is our subject, so uh, we want our reader, okay? We want our reader to understand who, uh, who we are talking about. So, we will leave the name Emily in, the, in our first sentence, but we can replace Emily uh, with the pronoun she um, in, other, in our other sentences to make our writing sounds less choppy and more fluent. So, let's uh, try this one. Emily is a student. She needs to study in order to get the job that she wants. She is determined to finish the degree. She is passionate in what she wants to become. Sounds better. So, why is pronoun important? Using pronouns can keep you from overusing a noun repeatedly. So instead of, you can say, if you are using noun, we can say the girl went to the park. But if you are going to use pronoun, we can change the noun with this one, park. You just have to know which pronoun to use. But what are the different kinds of pronouns? What is a personal pronoun? What is a what is an interrogative pronoun? How about the possessive pronoun? The relative pronoun? The reflexive pronoun? The indefinite pronoun? And what are the expletives? And that will be our next lesson for our next to be uploaded video. By the way, shout out to Sir Ramil Sabado, Sis Jennifer de la Peña Medina, Brother Nino Basco, and of course, Sis Carla Jane Mendoza for supporting our vlogs. And of course, if you are a newbie in our channel and you are not yet subscribed, please like, share, and click the bell so that you will be notified for our next to be uploaded video. By the way, I'm Selena just from the Korean National High School. See you again in our next vlog.